there. Wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to find your vanity key for Real Satisfied. You're going to need to keep your Real Satisfied vanity key handy somewhere, um, as you'll need it to link several websites that do feed and syndicate with Real Satisfied, um, such as Realtor.com and KansasCityHomes.com slash backend, amongst others. So I'm going to show you how to log in to Real Satisfied. If you do a quick, just do a quick Google search for Real Satisfied, and it will be the first thing that pops up here. So we're just going to click here. The website's realsatisfied.com. And then up here in the upper right is the login. If you don't have your um, login credentials, check with your office admin or broker. <coughs> it should be your kansascityhomes.com email address and then your password. If you need help remembering your password or resetting it, you can always click down here, reset password, after you put in your kansascityhomes.com email address. I've got my password that auto populates here. I'm going to put remember me on this computer so I don't have to remember that login and hit sign in. This is your real satisfied dashboard. Up here in the upper um, left quadrant here are my profile settings. This is where I can change my photo. If I click here, I can upload a new photo, click on the little file button there, and I can upload my headshot from my computer in that saved spot. And then I'd hit OK they will take GIFs, JPEG, or PNG format. I'm going to hit cancel. Right down here under my name is my vanity key. So for most of you, your vanity key is going to be first name dash last name. So this is my vanity key. So to save this, I'm just going to highlight it, make sure it's highlighted. I'm going to right click with my mouse and hit copy. And then I'll go over to, um, I always put, probably isn't the safest thing in the world, but I'll put a contact into my contacts um, and just call it Real Satisfied and throw my vanity key in there and my password too if I need to save it. Or I'll use that master resource spreadsheet. Um, let me show you how to find that. That's a great place to put your vanity key. We're gonna to go to Drive. I am clicking here to make sure that I'm logged into my Kansas City Homes account. If I'm not, I would select that from right down here, but I'm, I'm in the right account. Actually, I'm gonna flip over and use Sam here for this one. We're gonna click on our waffle. I'm gonna to go to Drive. And then I'm gonna to go to my shared drives right down here on the left-hand side. I'm gonna to go to Agent Training. This is a spreadsheet that I'm looking for, but I want to show you where I have that hidden in here. It's in my new agent resources folder. So right here is, let's see, where is it? Is this it? That is it. So this has all, it's a spreadsheet that you can save to your drive and it has all of your important information here. So I'm going to log down or scroll down here to I don't think I have Real Satisfied on here. I'm going to have to add that to this spreadsheet, and I'll do that. I'm going to put it probably right up in here somewhere with the vanity key. So once I get that fixed, you're going to be able to download this and save it to your drive. Again, to do that, I'm going to hit File, make a copy, and I don't want to call it Copy. And I'm going to click on Folder, and I want to Menu Back until I get to My Drive. I'm going to select, actually, I want to put this in my marketing resources, that folder that I created in Drive to keep all of my important stuff. That's where I'm going to keep this. I'm going to hit select and hit OK. And it'll open in a new, new window for me. And now I can edit this. I can add all my contact information here. I'm going to go right down here and just go ahead and add a column. Real Satisfied Vanity Key. And then I'm going to paste that vanity key that I copied right there. So anytime I need that for any website, I know where it is. Let's pop back over here to Real Satisfied. Um, you can view your profile here or you make changes to your profile. 
you can also click right up here on profile page and see what it looks like. See if there's any information here that you need to update. This is a pretty, pro, pretty easy profile though. Not a whole lot you need to do in terms of updating here except maybe your headshot. Hit the back button and go back to where I was. And I have this syndicating to realtor.com. I don't have it syndicating to Facebook because I don't have a business page, but I do have it syndicating to Twitter. So even though this is on, remember, um, when you watch that Realtor.com video, you still have to go over to Realtor.com. Let's go over here and look. And under our ratings and reviews, you get this to repopulate. Over here on the right-hand side, you want to make sure that you're connected here to, to Real Satisfied. If you're not connected, when you hit this connect, it's going to ask for that vanity key. Hopefully you found this useful. Um, it is a pretty quick and easy one. We'll catch you on the next one.